Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast and welcome back to some more A to Z rank duel. Today we've got kind of an interesting matchup. We're going Bastet into Al Kwong. Al Kwong doesn't get a whole lot of playtime. And I'm actually not sure how we do in this matchup. One thing that we'll be able to do is kind of get out of range of his stuff. But at the same time, he has a nice invis to counter one of our abilities. He can juke really well with that. So we'll see what happens. Um, where's this boy at? Is he on a buff? I think he's on a buff. So we're going to try and do red. So Bastet's got a really weak early game. Um... But, it's, okay, no, he's just he's just here late. Okay. So, Bastet's got a pretty weak early game. So does Ao Kuang. He has more kill potential. We have more wave clear. So, we'll try and jump that. Good stuff. Oh, he's going to go on me a little bit. He takes a ton away from that. So, that's actually not bad. Really big bracer. He bracered well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, we got the counter kill. So, that sucks. We lost first blood. So, he gets 200 gold lead. Um, Wow. I Based on how hard he was hitting, I didn't think he had just one level in the two. I didn't think he had his invis. And he hit harder than I expected to begin with. Just, wow. Oh, it's, we tanked archers. What? We tanked archers that entire time? Okay. Well, that's that's where the... Never mind. It wasn't that he was hitting harder. It's that we tanked wave and I didn't think we would. Because I was fighting in my wave. I didn't think his wave was going to reach me. But apparently I was fighting a little too close. And archers must have pushed up. So that kind of sucks. It's not that big of a deal. He gets a small gold lead off that. We both get the same XP. So it's not really... Not really much of a difference. Is he actually going to try and... He, he does actually out-secure red, to be fair. So he actually probably can do this if he wants to. So what we want to do here is we want to try and poke him as much as possible. We just got our, our uh, stack. So he got a ton of burst damage and he might be dead. Damn, I didn't think he would get that far with the invis. That was actually close. So he got red buff, but he's missing XP right now. So he's not five. We probably can't take his blue because he's coming back from base right now. We could try to bait his blue... But he might be able to kill us if we do so. So I think we just give up lead right now. Yeah, so this is a little bit interesting because he has really strong kill potential, as you guys could see. Um, and I got caught a little off guard by that, which sucks. Late game, I think we win. I think we win late game. A lot of it depends on how well we kite him, though. Because he's really strong into this matchup and that he bursts us insanely hard. So if he plays his mobility right, he can stick to us well enough that we're just going to die. Because Bastet doesn't burst well. Bastet bursts really badly. So he has that going for him that he can actually straight up kill us on one set of cooldowns easy. But at the same time, we have the advantage where we have easy poke where he doesn't quite as much. So we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. We'll have to play with our jump a lot. That's going to be, that's true of in just in general for Bastet. We have to just kind of outplay with the jump. It's really going to be our big factor here. Okay, actually, I probably should have zoned that, by the way. I probably should have just let Wave kill each other so he might have missed a little bit of farm. Plus, we don't have cooldowns to fight with right now, so it's a little bit of a waste. Okay, so he doesn't have Bancross yet. That's really important to note. He should fight way better once he gets Bancross. I feel like he's going to invis this. Oh, he's not. What? It's crazy. <laughs> he's crazy. Hang on, hang on. Can we snipe? <laughs> okay, Haddix. I don't know what that was, but... <laughs> like, he, he knew I had Bracer up because we both have Bracer, so our Bracers have the same cooldown. I'm really confused on that one. Haddix is a really good player, but I feel like that was a little derpy on his part, trying to fight there without his Bancross. He should have Bancross now, by the way, which is going to be... Uh, definitely a big change. So one thing that I think should be... Oh, actually, I don't know. It might not. We're going Genji's. I don't know if Genji's is going to be all that good. Um, I think it's probably still better than Pestilence. And Bulwark sucks because he executes through Bulwark. So we don't go Bulwark for sure. It's probably better than Pestilence because his lifesteal is not super strong. If he was like Anubis or somebody, then we'd go Pestilence probably. But on, on Ao Kuang, it's not very reliable, the lifesteal. So you do get good lifesteal with your autos, but you have to push up to auto for it. So... It's not something we're going to do a whole lot of. Good, that's what we want. We want a lot of that. want to be baiting with the jump, not using cooldowns after, and baiting cooldowns. And then once he gets used to that, we start not we start not jumping right back. And that way, he won't use a cooldown, and we'll burst him, and then he'll use the cooldown, and we'll jump back once he actually uses it. So it's a lot of mind games. It's kind of all best that does. Okay, we're going to zone here. He went back. He's probably going into boots right now. He could go into breastplate. Breastplate would be interesting. He'll be a tank, but cats will be pretty OP against him. Uh, if he goes boots, we should be able to do a lot of damage before he gets defense online, which will be good. So he missed one creep. It looks like he he missed two creeps. He missed two creeps. That's nice. Okay, if he if he keeps invising that, that's pretty good. His invis cooldown's pretty long, and it's definitely something that he can use kind of kind of similar to our jump as like an outplay. Oh, it did hit. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely gonna keep poking wherever we can because he do, it, like right there is a perfect example. He has Bancroft. He did not life steal much at all there. We're just going to get out of his two here, if we can. 
That's really good poke. Like, he's not going to heal back from that. We just, we want to keep cooldown trading like that. He's going to go onto the red. That's fine. We're going to try and catch him. This should stick through invis, right? They're going to catch him here. Yeah, so they're not going to do a whole lot, though. We're going to stay out of his three. We're going to hit him with a two in a second. He might be dead here. He does have Bracer, though. Nice. Good stuff. There we go. That's red buff. Nice. That's a really good start. We had a really rough... We had... Well, it wasn't even that rough. We had a, kind of an unfortunate first blood, but it's going really well right now. That's awesome. Yeah, so as long as we just play with his cooldowns like that, we get his two down, we try and juke his three, he's going to have a really hard time fighting us. A lot of this comes down to how I play and not as much how he plays. Like, I feel like if I if I do make a mistake position-wise and get caught by one ability that I maybe shouldn't have, where I could have juked it, then we get in a lot of trouble. But if we play the distance perfect, there's not much he can do about it. Like right there, we dove a tower. We have no physical defense and it went fine. So he's going into boots, which is what I thought. Felt like he was a little speedier. I'm pretty sure he had tier one boots in that fight. Um, that should in a way be good for us because he's not going to be too tanky. So what I was talking about earlier is like, oh, okay, I almost missed that. Um, for my ultimate, boots is good. For everything else, it's not because it's so much more damage that I do when he doesn't have a breastplate or something like that for defense. By the way, we should be looking to maybe do bull demon with our cats. I actually, I haven't really done that much with Bastet. I don't know how, how well cats do on bull demon since it's one ability kind of messes it up or messes up the cats a lot. Oh, damn. I missed that. Really? I'm missing everything. This is actually terrible. We're just going to, we're going to try and juke him. Okay. So because we were in a bad spot there, I wanted to go ahead and just drop ult. That's fine. Where, where the hell did he go? Oh, hi. Okay. So that poke's absolutely worth it. No, stop it. Oh, if he actually, if he actually goes back to back, we can stop him with jump. This is really bad on his part. Yeah, he just wasted so much time. He should have backed right then. That's awesome. We actually get a tower push off that. Whoops. That was a misplay. That's really good. We get so much tower damage from that. Okay, I think because we have Bracer up, we're pretty safe to keep pushing this right now. I don't think we're going to do anything stupid by sticking around a little bit. We also have pots to heal with. Okay, let's just try and get to archers. Oh, is he actually going to engage on me? Okay, I think we're chilling. We have Bracer to bait with for Execute. Okay, I popped it a little too early there. He just popped his. Good hit there. So if he gets his two on me, we're in trouble. If he doesn't, we're chilling. So we do have to watch out for that. So far, this has been good. So far, this has been good because we're trading pretty well while his ultimate's up and ours isn't. Okay, if he invis is on me, I think we win. Our, actually, our cats are about to be up. We could bait with this a little. Oh, he missed the three. This should be his invis. Can we stick to him? He should be dead. He should be dead. We're just going to trade this aggressive. Yeah, he couldn't execute me there. Later. Awesome. So that should be tower. That might be red buff. He's down for 13. It's probably not red buff, actually. So what we do right here... Um, oh, this is awkward. This is awkward timing. I think we have to give up red and just take and just take tower. Because tower is more important than red buff. We have lead right now. We should be able to trade with that. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks, but we get a full item right now, so that's really nice. Gonna speed away just in case he gets super greedy, which it looks like he might have. Oh, he might be going... Is he going red or is he going bull demon? I don't know. I don't think... Oh my god, he is still chasing me. Oh! No, you're kidding! You're kidding! Oh! The man's insane! I think he went... I think he went the other way. Hang on, we juke here. Oh my god. I wasn't watching Wave. Hang on. We're out. We're out. Okay. That was that was a roller coaster. Oh my god. He gets red buff off that. That's fine. So I'm looking like, did he do Bull Demon? Did he do Red? He actually chased me all the way. That definitely, that caught me off guard. Okay. We do go Thorns because he's going physical defense. Thorns will be a pretty good counter to him. Um, it'll just force him to basically not hit me in his two is the big thing. Is whenever he's getting the crazy auto attack damage from his two, we can just press Thorns and he's going to have a really hard time doing it. So that's awesome. It's a really good counter in this matchup. Now he gets red, but we expected to give him red. So as long as we don't die, which we didn't, we're fine. Now, do we try and just force Bull Demon? What do we get from cats? Cats aren't that strong if we level them, so we'll not do that. He's really under farmed. I think we force fights. Oh, I missed that. Really? Oh, so we have vision on him. Can we catch him with a three? He actually might be dead here. He actually might be dead. Oh, no, he's out of range. I'm so greedy. I'm so greedy. Oh, we're not going to live. 
Oh, that's awkward. So I thought we were gonna kill him before he got to Fountain. That was just, wow. Actually, I, I'm really surprised he didn't die. Okay. He had defense there, which kind of threw me off, I guess. But honestly, just based on the damage we were doing, I thought he was a dead boy. Apparently he wasn't. I think he's, no, he's not doing anything. We're good. Oh, we're good. Okay. Well, that didn't actually matter too much then. Now we go Titan's Bane, try and get through that defense he's building into. We've got 30% CDR, 40% when we don't die with our blue buff up. And, uh, <laughs> and we're going to have a lot of penetration for what should be a breastplate in a second here. So that was obviously a misplay. Okay, there's not really too much to it. I thought we might be able to get out with the Bracer heal. We didn't get a big Bracer heal. Either way, I thought that was a kill, and it wasn't a kill, so that kind of sucks. But it was really greedy on my part. He actually, oh my god. He destroyed it. He is Alquang. I guess that makes sense. Uh, bright side, I don't think it matters. Bull Demon, Bull Demon is good for me because his Phoenix is, uh, is up, so we actually get to kill Phoenix with it. But I don't think he gets anywhere close to killing Tower with it. So if anything, it's just a small regen buff, and it takes it away from me having it. We definitely look for trades here. Okay, what are you what are you doing? What was, I think he's like trying to just bait? I don't understand. I actually don't understand. Okay, we have jump here in a second. This one's a little more diveable. What what? Okay, that was a fat finger and a half. So one thing, okay, we're clearly struggling with this. We can't Phoenix dive right now. Phoenix dive is ridiculously hard. We're taking so much damage because I don't have physical defense. That sucks. Red bus up, right? It's not? When is this up? I could have sworn it spawned. Oh, okay. It's him. That's, that sucks. I thought I thought I heard the buff spawning. It's just him clearing wave. So he has full breastplate. He has tier one a pen. Tier one pen doesn't really do anything. We're actually going to pop this here. Because he shouldn't get out with his invis, right? Like catch and catch up? Yeah, exactly. Catch, catch up. That's perfect. We're ready to pop thorns here in a second because he should trade on me, right? Turn on me. Turn on me. Come on. Ah, uh, looked like he was turning. We got him slowed. We've got him really stuck. Can we chase him? He should have just gone. Where is he? Yeah, he did go back this way. That's a good jump. He's bursting red. Oh my god. We got it. We actually just got that. Okay. Come on. Please no. Oh my god. He's gonna go try and sneak away right now. Okay, you're not gonna get to do that. Here, we're gonna flick to him in tower. Oh, we're just gonna, okay. I thought he was gonna one into the, okay. I'm a little confused. I guess it wasn't up. I figured he would try and one into the Phoenix so he wouldn't be able to hit him, or at least it'd be really unlikely. But no, he just kind of walked in. That made it a little easier. <laughs> that was actually the play there though. There's no way he gets out of that alive. So he might as well try and kill himself and hope I don't get credit. Um, so he played his movement really well there. We were just barely able to kill him and it wasted all of our time in the meantime. Uh, I don't think we really get his blue. Let's just go ahead and back and get Titans done. Get ready for a fight here. Because Bull Demon should spawn pretty soon. We are going to upgrade Bracer because we are going cooldown. And Bracer's really good with cooldown reduction since it's a three second reset. So we'll go ahead and get that maxed out. Have that reset ready for us just in case. Plus we also have it off cooldown, which is always a plus. Let's make sure he's on wave here. If he's not on wave, we've got to check Bull Demon right now. And he's not on wave, we've got to check Bull Demon right now. He's on his blue, we can hear him. Okay. So let's clear wave. Let's go check Bull Demon, make sure we have timer. I'm pretty sure it's up. Probably going around his blue buff right now. Oh, he's right here. Okay. Oh, is he warding? I feel like I saw a ward somewhere. Like right over here, I thought. Okay, Bull Demon's not up quite yet. Yeah, I actually have no clue. There's a chance he has wards right now. Where you at, bud? Okay, he knows. He has a ward. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he definitely knows. There's no way. Unless, he, unless his game sound are like CSGO level loud so he can hear my footsteps. Then, uh, then he has a ward, because he shouldn't have been able to spot me, I don't think, unless I'm tripping. Hi! Okay, can Cat stick with our slow here? Okay, I think he got back to Phoenix. Yeah, he got back to Phoenix. Okay, so I'm hoping this is Bull Demon, but we're taking forever to clear wave, so I don't know if it is. Actually, it's straight up not. We're not going to be able to get it done. Damn it, man. I, I, ugh. I was hoping Cats would stick there. If we got the proc from Cats, it would have popped his invis, but it just wasn't the right timing for it. Um, hmm. I don't know what we build here. I don't know what we build here, so I'm gonna go rush over to Bull Demon, because he could be bursting it. I actually probably shouldn't have hesitated at all in base. I probably just had to rush over, because he has crazy burst. And like, we know he should check it. Hi. We know he should check it. What is he doing? 
Oh, he's trying to bait it. I think he has a word on me, by the way. I don't know why he would be doing that if he didn't have a word. Just want to keep taking poke for me, bud? Hi, you right here? I feel like he's right here. Oh, he's not. He's over there. Hi. What's going on? Your invis is down. Yeah, you're not hitting me back either. You're not hitting me back either. That's how that's going to be. Okay, that's Bull Demon. I don't know what he's doing. Haddix is, Haddix is actually a nutty player, by the way. I don't know if he's, like, trolling or what. Because he keeps playing weird. He keeps doing weird shit like that, where he doesn't just run. Like, he just, I don't know. He likes to stand still right now. Oh, he's actually insane. He's, he's, he's more of a Conquest player, but I've seen him a lot in Conquest, and he's pretty nuts. Okay, so we're going to finish off Bull Demon. Do we have time for red? I feel like we have time for red buff. We might give up tower for it, but it's red buff, so I feel like it's probably worth. Because red buff just helps us so much with getting this Phoenix done and not having to worry about fights. So we'll save our jump for the actual... Actually, we're probably just going to save jump in general. Just in case he actually gets here and puts me in, in a little bit of danger. Okay, so he might chill at Phoenix. That's a fine play for him if he does. Just, you know, no point in really venturing out when I'm going to be trying to dive that anyways. Uh, Item-wise, what do we go here? More magic defense could be really good. He doesn't have percentage pen yet. Once he has percentage pen, it'll be a problem. So for now, we're going to go Pestilence because he's not going to be able to kill us. It'll actually be basically impossible for him to kill us right now. We can die to Titan. We can die to Fountain. We can die to Phoenix. We can't die to him when we have double defense and he just has Spear the Magus. So that's really strong for us. Uh, once he goes Obsidian, which he probably will since he sees double defense, we'll sell off the defense. We have a lead that's not big of, that big of a deal. We might as well just try and get Phoenix down because Alquang doesn't have good wave clear. Getting Phoenix down is just pretty much game as long as we don't throw. So, that should be good. Nice. Jump the one. And he's... Or jump the three. He's not feeling it. He has sixes. Okay. So, there's a little bit of bad step for you. Um, definitely, the big things to note with her is trying to get good ultimates. We got we got a couple of good ults, but we also got some bad ones. That's just kind of true of the matchup. And I could, definitely could have played it better. Uh, Jump-wise is the big thing. Trying to use your jump in ways that kind of bait them. Because not only do you want to try and juke abilities, you want to get them to think you're juking abilities and then not juke abilities so they don't throw their abilities and then you juke the abilities once they finally throw the abilities. Yeah, yeah. It's like meta on top of meta on top of meta. And you just build it up throughout the game. It's fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. Trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.